Hi, I'm Hilary Talbot, acupuncture physician and clinical herbalist. Today we will be discussing acupressure for bone spurs. Now, bone spurs can happen in different areas of the body. You can get them on the ankle, heel bones, as well as in the hips, and sometimes even in the shoulders. Um, and they tend to really hurt because it's a calcification of the bone that gets these little spiny processes that stick out off of it. And then it um, kind of just digs into the fascia, which is the surrounding tissue. And that's where you experience the pain. And it can also kind of cause this chronic inflammation of the fascia. So like on the foot, where a lot of times people will get a bone spur here in the heel, the fascia that lines the bottom of the foot will sometimes be so aggravated that you'll develop plantar fasciitis. Um, and the fascia likes to lay down. It's kind of like an, in a weaved mo um, pattern. And when it gets inflamed, it does this, and it doesn't want to lay down. So obviously treating the root cause would be to get rid of the bone spur itself. So acupressure I'm going to show you is just going to stimulate um, circulation into the area um, to help increase circulation. The point bladder 60, located um, behind the lateral malleolus in a divot right here, is a point that I will commonly needle when there's a bone spur right here on the um, heel of the foot. If the fascia is involved, you can also um, give yourself acupressure along the lines where the red and the white skin meet on the foot, and that will sometimes help to let the fascia lay back down. And what's really effective in treating burnt bone spurs, more so than acupressure a lot of times, is actually um, herbal medicine. Um, one herb in particular comes to mind is uh, hydrangea, which if you've ever seen hydrangea plants, they're pretty cool that they can turn out um, blue or pink depending on the pH of the soil that they're in. And that's because it has a free electron and that, um, that changes based on the pH of the soil. Well, in the body, when you ingest hydrangea, that free electron actually binds to the staghorns, either on bone spurs or kidney stones, um, and helps to round them out. And so if you can round out the bone spur, it doesn't affect the fascia as much. So another interesting way to try and help relieve the pain associated with bone spurs. I'm Hilary Talbot, and that was acupressure for bone spurs.